The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is SeeingEagles.com. I'm Matthew Osborne, Chia's Carson Swim Coach Paige McCord. As three of the Eagles get set for the AT&T U.S. National Championships in Greensboro, North Carolina. First off, Coach, before we get on to this weekend's event, we'll kind of close up the fall frenzy two weeks ago. Your team, I mean, record-setting performances all around. First eight cuts in school history. Numerous B cuts, school records falling left and right. What what was the meet for your team? What was it like? What was the intensity like? The the excitement for the way they swim? Mm, absolutely. Um, I just want to say that the team really uh, exceeded expectations in every way and we had to go back to the goal setting board. Um, it's exciting now to see after that spectacular performance what uh, what we can do in uh, February at conference. Um, also, I think we learned a lot. Um, we had some standout swims um, on both sides. Pretty much, it, it was almost funny. I every swim was so great. I I just I just almost got sick of congratulating them. It was so wonderful every meet that they every meet session that they swam and they did fantastic across the board. And I think there was a lot of personal successes as well. Um, our young freshmen really stepped up and learned quite a bit. And then some of our more mature uh, veterans. Uh, that have been there for two years only. Um, they really performed well, both in prelims and finals, scored some points, and um, swam out of their mind. So it was a fantastic way for us to set up the rest of our season. I know one of your relay teams, the 4 by one relay on the men's side, really, really stole a show, in your opinion, set up, and it qualified two weeks ago, qualified for this week's event. Uh, what about Sam and Paul? Stephen Parsons and Ben Younger will be competing this weekend. Mm -hmm. what, what did they do in the water? And I know you're extremely proud of that, those four good men. Absolutely. Um, that was our, actually our first win in program history um, at a big meet like that, um, beating some top competition. So that definitely was very uh, motivating for us to see what the next steps are. And we're hoping that relay um, will qualify for um, NCAA Nationals in March. Um, the Individuals on that relay had standout swims, but I think what it was is they really came together as a team, and really that's symbolic of what our entire team is doing, really coming together and saying, hey, what else can we do? Um, and so specifically in Sam's case, um, he swam a great leg for us, had several personal bests, um, Paul did well, and then um, Stephen and Ben um, as well. You know, everyone across the board um, really just put together um, four solid laps, good turns, good relay exchanges, and um, tapered, tapered down well. So it was a great race. We talk about six players, six, six swimmers qualified for this meet, only three are going. What did you have to do to qualify? Why isn't the whole team going in just sure. six qualifications? Sure. Actually, this meet that we're going to is um, a USA swimming meet, which is different from an NCAA. Um, they you, they coexist at this level, but this is where Olympians such as Katie Ledecky and Colin Jones will be there, which are the um, uh, world record holders in those events. Um, or Kayla Decky is, uh, Colin Jones I think is the American record holder, um, for the mile and thousand, 500 free, and then of course Colin's on the sprint side. Um, so to really have our athletes go and um, have qualified at a certain level at the senior national cut to compete against them is huge for our program um, and also um, for recruiting purposes. And then additionally, um, with these young men, it was a uh, a dream, a boyhood dream for several of them to, to be at this level. So um, when their swims at Fall Frenzy put them in this position, um, we um, were very ecstatic for them and for Carson Newman as a whole. Ben Young, Stephen Parsons, and Ken Eldreth will be three swimming this weekend. What events are they going for? I know you said sprint side. What sure. what what will they be swimming in? And what what are going to be the benchmarks for them? Sure. Um, well, believe it or not, they're set up to go even faster than Fall Frenzy, which I don't know that I can believe either. Um, ben Young will be doing the 50 and the 100 uh, freestyle sprint side. Stephen Parsons will also be doing the sprint side. He'll be doing the 100 free. And then uh, Kent will be doing the breaststroke, which is the 100 and 200. And um, those will be over the next three days, um, swimming in the morning. So we're looking forward to some strong races out of them as well. What does this mean for your program? I mean, you, you talk about recruiting, but what in general does it mean for them moving forward to the BMC Conference Championships yeah. in February? Well, I think it gives us a lot of confidence that we can, can compete at the highest level. Um, additionally, I think it really um, validates the hard work they've been putting in and also um, gives us an opportunity to further the um, – uh, God's kingdom, you know, as we go about trying to display our message, which is um, doing the best we can in every area with integrity. So uh, 
it's huge um, at this level, but at the same time, it's not a surprise because everyone um, has been really working hard. And I think that um, the Carson Newman Eagles swim team has really um, deserved this. And so although they, those three might be carrying the banner, um, there's several other individuals and the entire team that uh, earn this together with them, for sure. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Eagles get ready to swim. It's me, Stephen, Ben, and Kent. They swim November, December 4th through the 6th in Greensboro. She is Carson Swim Coach Paige McCord. I'm Matthew Osborne, and this is seeingeagles.com.